this has been an impressive opening half performance by Dublin. Halftime score, Dublin 11, Tyrone 6. Is it enough? Don't go away. We'll be right back after the break. Just uh, one change. Dermot Carlin seems to be on. And uh, the player that's going off, we're not too sure. It could be Martin Swift. And also uh, Brian Doher is on as well. Tyrone captain joining his vice captain, Philip Jordan, on the field of play. So far, there's Doher. So far in these qualifiers, Tyrone have produced very impressive second half performances. Do not write them off. Don't write off Donnelly. And the pass going astray, straight to James McCarthy. Michael Dara McCauley giving it back to Kevin Nolan. Challenge from Peter Hart, just a little bit late. Referee says, play on. Paul Flynn going for distance. Seemed to be a challenge under the eye of the referee, John McQuillan. Didn't seem to be. Referee says, play on. Philip Jordan. Brian Doher going forward. This could be the last charge, the last hurrah for some of these players, and they know it. Dublin defending well. Paul Flynn going for distance. Slips by Alan Brogan. Comes across to Sean O'Neill. In the centre, Connor Gormley. 30 years of age. Made his first appearance against Armagh. Tyrone lose it. Nice pick up by Bernard Brogan. To the brother Alan. Brogan is looking for it outside. Goes instead to Dermot Connolly. With the right boot. He can do no wrong. No doubt about it. He is the hero of the day. With six points all from play. And the beauty of it all. It's left foot, right foot. Take your pick. Connolly can do it. Yes, and it's so untypical of Sean Cabinet to lose possession in that in that sector of the field. But the mistake was perfectly punished from the Dublin point of view with a great finish once again from Connolly. Great catch by Kevin Nolan. Nice pick up again by Connolly. So comfortable on the ball. Gives it short. Faris Barry Cal. He's worked hard this afternoon or this evening. Out far is Dennis Bastic. Fantastic score! Like Barack Obama, yes he can! Wonderful play by Dublin, and each and every point so far, bar one, scored from play. What about this? From a midfielder that doesn't normally score. Yeah, just look at the room he's had once again. This has been a feature of a lot of the Dublin points today. They've got the ball, engineered them into good areas, but they've got them in, in, in uncontested situations. Paul Flynn. Onto the left boot. It's an exhibition of football by Paul Flynn. Easily the best performance we've seen from the Blues for a long, long time. And they're doing it to their greatest of rivals, Tyrone. 14 points on the scoreboard, 13 from play. Only Stephen Cluxton's 45 comes from a place ball. It's really, really impressive. Kick-out comes all the way down to James McCarthy, under pressure from Peter Hart. Jim McConnell shows that he's not just waiting for a soft ball. There's a follow-through there. Michael Darren McCauley didn't like it. And there's a yellow card being shown, I believe, to Kevin Hughes. Comes back outside for his Paul Flynn. Great block down by Philip Jordan. Comes out for his Brian Doher. Coming forward, looking around for support play. Coming forward is Connor Gormley. Lays it down for his Peter Hart. Can to roll, find their rhythm, find their momentum against the dominant Dublin side. That's giving, quite simply, an awesome performance. Here's Kavanagh. This is the sort of runs he did and taken out of it by Jeff Brennan. It was a fair shoulder, says the Dublin centre half back. But Sean Kavanagh went down like a sack of spuds. Seemed to be a fair shoulder by Jeff Brennan, but it was a hefty one, and Kavanagh felt it. No, I don't think it was shoulder to shoulder, which it has to be in that case. I think it was a foul, and Cabinet drove straight at them, it must be said. I think it's a deserved free in for Tyrone. Joe McQuillan indicating there that Martin Carney was saying about a frontal charge seemed to be right. Three is quickly taken. Stephen Cluxton under the crossbar. Keno Sullivan, Cluxton to come off his goal line. Goes across the face of it, Kevin Nolan. James McCarthy. 
gets it for us, Dennis Bastic. Now, first choice midfielder and scoring points, not just in the Leinster final against Wexford when he uh, registered one, but also here now against Tyrone in the quarter final. Brian Dewar got a hands to it, lays it off. Farrell's Dermot Carlin to the captain. Brian Dewar, James McCarthy read it well, just got a boot to it. Comes back by Sean O'Neill. It's action all the way, like we had in the first half. Gets by James McCarthy. Colm Kavner takes control. Looks for a little bit of support again. It's from Doha. Floating one in. Clucks it underneath it. Punches it clear. Marty Penrose was inside the small rectangle. And that's the free out for Dublin. Yes, that's the correct call. Clucks it underneath the ball. And Penrose just in before the ball came. Correct call by the referee. Ger Brennan to James McCarthy. Bastard. Back to McCarthy again. Barry Cal, McCarthy, Keen O'Sullivan, playing well, very much in control. Pat Spillane might like to know his parents, both of them are from Kerry. Out far is Rory O'Carroll. Goals for distance. Referee says Dear McConnell was not fouled. Connolly down on his, still on his knees. Cullum Kavner, Kevin Hughes coming through the middle, taken down by Brian Cullen. Free from under 45, quickly taken by Martin Penrose. Over this side, available is Brian Duha. Can he score from there? It's well wide for Tyrone's fifth wide of the game. Yeah, it must be said they've brought in Brian Duha instead of Brian McGuigan for the second half, and also at the other end of the field, they brought in Dermot Carlin instead of Justin McMahon. Certainly, uh, McMahon had a very poor first half. Not sure about taking off McGuigan if that was a correct call. Long ball from James McCarthy, gives the possession away to Conor Gormley. Owen Mulligan inside his own half of the field. Gormley as Tyrone have to work so hard to get any sort of a break and to create an opportunity. Jordan goes for distance. Cluxton gets there ahead of Martin Penrose, picked up by right cornerback Michael Fitzsimons from Kula, Alan Brogan and Dublin work it down the line, Michael, Dara McCauley, down towards Bernard Brogan, Joe McMahon trying to stay goal side Brogan it's over the bar but there was a panic attack all the way to County Tyrone because Brogan has the beating of Joe McMahon the Oma man could not stop. Brogan bearing down on goal. McConnell had his eye on it all the way, but the ball just seemed to lift high and high and went over the bar. Yeah, but how many times have we seen that today where Dublin are managed to get one against one situations in their forward line and they're absolutely destroying the, uh, the Tyrone full back line? Just to tell you that, as uh, you saw there, Stephen O'Neill has been introduced. And the player that's gone off is uh, Peter Hart, right, left half forward. There was an anticipated crowd of close to 70,000 before the match, and perhaps the rain persuaded some of them to stay at home. But those who have come, 52,661, enjoying an enthralling contest. Magnificent performance by Dublin and Tyrone having to show and display and find deep within their souls that those battling skills that Mickey Hart and Tony Donnelly has instilled in them since 2002. Yeah, it's a long time since I've seen Dublin playing consistently well over a long period with such high intensity. From the word go, they have never allowed Tyrone to settle. It's been an exceptional performance from Dublin. And I hate using the phrase, but they have toyed with Tyrone in many cases. It's something that I have never seen a team doing before during Tyrone's uh, you know, years of success. Dublin, 15 points, 14 from play. Pascal McCollum way out of his goal goals for distance two against one back there is Keno Sullivan sweeping up lays it off to Barry Powell Pascal McConnell would want to get on his Honda 50 get back into goals quickly because Connolly 
is heading there and so too is Barry Carl, Paul Flynn, it's Flynn, it's Flynn with a chance and across the face of the goal Bernard Brogan was centimetres away from scoring the game's first goal a wonderful counter attack by Dublin and Brogan just missed it just centimetres away wonderful combined play that time from Dublin on the counter attack shame in a way that a quality move like that didn't result in a goal Martin Swift going forward from corner back lays it off to Sean Cabner here comes to her captain on the field leader in every sense of the word and that ball is going straight between the posts for Duhur's first point of the match Yeah, Duhur comes forward well that time, shoots a typical uh, kick off the outside of his foot, and scores a good point. Paul Flynn gets it back for his Kevin Nolan, who gives it to Dennis Bastic. Dublin have this facility, this ability to open up the Jerome defence. Here's Alan Brogan, three converge, hits the Rasper, and it goes across the face of the goal. First there was Bernard, then there was Alan. Both goals missed by centimetres. Just watch it, get the situation once more evolves, where they get the ball in a one-against-one one situation, and they're destroying their markers. The Dublin forwards are destroying their markers. Most unlucky not to have stuck that in the corner of the net. In fact, he probably should have. Kick out, knocked away. Comes far as Colin Pavna. Lays it off quickly to Kevin Hughes. This is Stephen O'Neill. Can he make a difference? Referee blows the whistle. Given a free in to Tiro. Kevin Nolan being spoken to for that challenge on O'Neill. And a yellow card for his efforts. This time O'Neill just runs directly at him. O'Neill definitely pulls, or uh, Nolan definitely pulls him down. Although must be said to see that O'Neill makes sure that he gets his free in. Martin Penrose hits this well. Has the range and the accuracy. Kick out is quickly taken. Far as Ger Brennan. Ian O'Sullivan Dear McConnelly and Brogan this is Brogan, flicks it across to Dear McConnelly and a vital interception by Conor Gormley I mentioned earlier he did it in the 